One of the things that came on our Neptune Blue GR86, but not my GR86, is the duckbill, or Toyota calls it, I think, the TRD trunk lid spoiler. Whatever you want to call it, it only comes on the premium GR86, but it fits the base model GR86 and BRZ as well as the limited BRZ. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to install the OEM duckbill. What we need to do is uninstall this trunk lip portion that houses the third brake light, reverse camera, and trunk button so that we can install the templates that tell us where to drill the holes to mount the duckbill. So go ahead and open up the trunk. On the underside of the trunk, we're going to use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the seven pop clips that are holding this in place. That's going to reveal these two connections that will disconnect. And then we'll push the rubber grommets through the holes so we don't have to deal with those later. There's going to be six of these eight millimeter nuts that we need to remove, three on this side and three on this side. Be really careful when you're doing this so you don't drop them into the trunk, otherwise you're going to have a hell of a time fishing them out. So what I usually do is loosen them, and once they're loose, I'll put my thumb on the end of the stud and loosen it the rest of the way with my index finger, and once it's off, it can't come off of that stud because my thumb's there, we can grab it and pull it off. On the outer edges of the trunk, there's gonna be two more eight millimeter bolts on each side that we'll need to remove, so don't forget these as well. The only thing holding the trunk lip in place now is the plastic retainer clip, so we need to firmly pull the trunk lip off of the trunk. The easiest way to do so is open up the trunk all the way, and we're gonna push it towards the front of the car on the outer edge here. So on this black plastic piece, I'm on the passenger side right now, I'm gonna put my thumbs on here, and press it towards the front of the car until I hear those clips pop out. And you're gonna have to use a decent amount of pressure. It's a little bit scary, but you won't be breaking anything. There we go, now we'll go to the other side. If you have someone helping you, they can hold the other side while you do this side the same way as I showed you. But because I'm doing this myself, I've closed the trunk on a box, so I still have a gap here, and I'm just gonna pull this side up from the same edge. Now we're just gonna lift this off, and it's still gonna have those harnesses going through the trunk, so we're gonna need to fish those out. With the trunk lip off of the car, I've got the three templates that are included with the duckbill installed on the lip. They're very clearly marked center, left, and right, so you can't put them in the wrong positions because they just wouldn't fit anyway. I'm gonna show you guys the back side of the lip to show you how I have everything aligned. We'll start with the center one here. Each template is gonna have a dotted line that you need to fold over. And if I flip the lip over, you'll see that it fits perfectly into the gap on the outside of the retaining clips here and into these slots. So this needs to fit perfectly into those slots and that dotted line needs to be right on the edge and that's how you align the center one. The ones on the sides are very similar. You just fold it over on the edge of the dotted line and it fits into this gap on the outside of the retaining clip and this plastic wall right here. So make sure, make sure it fits all the way down and sits flush on both sides right here and the same thing on the other side. Once you have those aligned, you can take the painter's tape and lock everything down into position. Once you have those templates installed, we're gonna use a small drill bit to get the pilot holes, and then we'll utilize a step bit to enlarge those holes. The four holes on the outside, we're gonna enlarge to 3 eighths of an inch, and then the two center holes, we're gonna go to a quarter of an inch. Well, here goes nothing. We've drilled all the holes, and now it's time to see if we screwed anything up. I've got the duck bill here, and we're gonna test fit it to make sure that it fits correctly.
Okay, the two center holes align. This left side's looking good. It fits. We did it. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this back off. We're gonna clean the trunk lip and then use the uh, adhesive promoter that's supplied to wipe everything down. And then we'll peel the backing off of the 3M on the duck bill. And then we can install this thing. We're gonna take the 3M primer and wipe down the surface. Now you can take the duckbill with the backing removed and carefully place it on top and get it installed. Once you've got that on there, we're gonna grab the included nuts and install them on the studs on the underside. There's gonna be a total of six 10 millimeter nuts that we'll need to install. I'm gonna start with the two in the center. Make sure you don't over tighten these. We'll finish with the remaining ones on the edge and then we can get this thing back on the car. All we gotta do now is get this thing back on the car and we are good to go. We'll get the wiring harnesses fed through the holes. Now we'll align the studs. and we can pop everything into place. Get those harnesses plugged back in. Make sure you pull the grommets through to make a good seal. There we go. Reinstall the six nuts. Again, make sure not to drop them. Now we can reinstall the cover. Don't forget to reinstall the four eight millimeter bolts on both sides. And that's gonna do it. I'm curious what you guys think. I think it looks a whole lot better. It certainly beats paying for a premium if you just like the look of the duckbill. Obviously you're getting the nicer headlights, the seats, the wheels and such, but this was the main thing that I wanted on the premium trim that the base model didn't have. Now I know a lot of people are worried about drilling into their trunk. You can actually do this without any drilling at all. You just need to take the studs off the underside of the duckbill and use the pre-applied 3M to install it onto the trunk. I wanted it to be a little bit more secure, so I went the drilling route completely up to you. I do recommend you let this sit and cure on the car for about 24 to 48 hours after you install it. Uh, don't go washing it right away or anything like that. Uh, if you are interested in this right now, we've got the red, white, black, unpainted, uh, all in stock. We're working on getting the other colors as well, but I'll leave a link down in the description. If you wanna follow along with my build with the GR86, I'll leave the link to my channel as well down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.